Holy shit. I did 12 pulls and filled two entire stamp cards and got 12 five-star weapons in just 12 pulls. Wow. Hey everyone, it's Nightlight9. We are finally going to dive into the new Final Fantasy IX crossover event banner and hopefully do some pulls and hopefully our luck is good. I set my wallpaper to this Barret right now because this is what I've felt like ever since the announcement of this crossover event. Man, last night when it was 30 minutes delayed, I was just so disappointed. I kept refreshing my game, kept closing it out and reopening it, uh, you know, and then it finally came up and I just, I had to go spend time with my family. So here we are, we're finally ready. Let's discuss the good, the bad, and everything in between. So uh, for starters, let's let's look at Cloud's weapon, Zidane's sword. This is just purely a non-elemental physical attack weapon. And I think for what it is, it does a very good job. Physical attack boost, physical attack boost, sigil boost, always helpful. Uh, I'm very happy with that. Um, obviously the damage starting at 650% is pretty insane. Physical attack boost, definitely good. Physical ability uh, boost or potency, very good because it stacks real nicely with the, the outfit that he has. And if we look at that, I was hoping that it would be a plus 10, not like something like plus five or plus eight. I'm really happy with this because just right out of the box, we're already at level two and you combine that with his weapon, you're at level three and you are on your way with some sub weapons to be able to get level four. I mean, and, and this is strong, plus 30% to physical ability damage and plus 45 if you can get there. I think that's quite good. I think this is definitely value and Ultimately, even though I know a lot of people really want to see elemental weapons, but these are way more versatile than that because there's, you know, what, a handful of different elements, but there's only, you know, other than that, as far as magical or physical, there's only two. So some, you know, enemies are obviously, you know, have less physical defense, some have less magical, and I think that makes it way more versatile in the long run. Uh, looking at Tifa's weapon here, we have the Amaranth's Claws. One thing that I'm not really excited about, or at least I could be more excited about is, you know, it said that they would, I can't remember the exact words, but basically drastically or significantly increase physical attack. And man, I had my, my hopes up thinking that that meant it would start at high potency. Maybe that was, maybe that was a pipe dream. Um, we notice it starts at mid. And I think it could have at least started at max potency high. I mean, just with the way that they described that. Uh, so that's that's not quite as good as I was hoping it would be. Just knowing that, you know, it takes quite a lot here. We're seeing, I mean, you have to get OB6 for it to be high potency. Um, I mean, I assume that it's not somewhere in between there. But obviously this would be amazing. But the fact that most people won't be able to get it quite that high, um, man, it makes me a little bit less excited. Other than that, the boost HP is always good. I love that the boost physical ability potency is on this as far as how it stacks with her outfit, which, by the way, um, you know, is the same as Cloud's. And it looks really amazing. Um, I think she looks great here. Love the hair. That's, like, probably my favorite part. The actual weapons... Most of Tifa's weapons kind of look a little bit derpy, but that's okay. I did want to comment on Clouds as well. His looks really cool. Like, love the boots, love the belt. Um, I don't know about this little tie in the back here. It's, it's whatever. Uh, but the only other, the only, I guess, the only thing I would say, there is no way that this scabbard would hold this sword. Like, look, look at the size of this sword. And look at this, this tiny little scabbard. Um, but other than that, I mean, it, it looks really cool. So I uh, kudos to them for designing those. Okay, I am just going to cover my wish list real fast, and then I'm going to get into some pulls. So what I'm going for here on the wish list, just because I know some people will want to know, I'm going for leather gloves on Tifa. I do not have these at five star, and Omni Strike. 
is a very nice ability physical attack decrease I've already got, you know, so many other ways to debuff on Tifa. That's the one I'm really missing. I did get lifeguard wraps recently from one of the uh, 10, like 10 tickets we got for a guaranteed four star better. And I was very excited about that. Just helping round her out to be able to fit different roles. I've got Murasame here because I really would like to get this here. I'd like to get it to OB6. I would be very, very happy with that. So we're gonna continue on that. Prime number here I've got in because I do not have it. And again, I wanna be able to round Matt out. I think, um, you know, seeing the Iron Giant fight, it would have been really helpful if I had an alternative healer to Aerith that could do debuffs and heal. So that's something that I'm going for. And then my last two weapons are Sephiroth because he's kind of still my, my biggest elemental damage dealer. So Aerial Frostblade here, again, my goal is to get things OB6. So I've got this in here to try to get a copy or two of that if possible. And then I've got Prototype Crimson Blade because I just figured why not uh, go for a fire potency weapon. Uh, there's other things that would be good too, but that's what I decided to go with. Um, I think I've got this like the like Prototype OB1 or two, um, you know, so basically building up a few weapons that I have, trying to get a couple. I always like to put in at least one or two weapons that I don't currently own but would like. I think that that's a big deal. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I guess, is just the free summon. And uh, we'll just kind of see, see how it goes. I'm not gonna really watch the whole animation. Kind of what I like to do is see if Cloud comes in with the Marasame battle garb on. If I see that, I'll watch it through. If not, I just do a skip and okay. Pretty excited about this. Um, what did we get here? All right. Yeah, piece of cake, okay. I don't really uh, use Glenn a lot, but that's all right. I'm happy to even get that, especially out of a free draw. Maybe, maybe that's a good start, or maybe I just used up all my luck. I don't know. One other thing I wanted to say real quickly before I do these summons is that it has been noted that these weapons will not be added to the draw pool which means it will be harder to level them uh, from whatever you get here. That's going to maybe discourage some people from summoning. However, you can always upgrade with weapon parts. That is something that's always available, so it's not like whatever you get here, you're stuck with forever, okay? And that's the last thing I wanted to, to note too, is that you get a significant advantage in this event. Just by having these, you get boost to reward acquisition which, I mean, just is one more thing that makes these weapons really worth it. So, without further ado, let's just go ahead and look at the stamp card, make sure I've got everything selected here. I'm going for Tifa's stuff. Uh, Tifa, to me, is just way more versatile, and so I use her in more content than I use Cloud, so she is going to be the main person that I want. All right. Let's get into it. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. How many stamps here? One. Well, kind of expected that. Would have been nice to start out with something bigger, but I'm okay with that. Cloud walks in. Regular close. It's a skip for me. And nothing. All right. We, we at least got some four-star copies, but... Not what we're ultimately going for. Hopefully those will just end up being some parts for the old collection. Two stamps? Okay. I'm always happy with the two. I just, it's so much more value than the one. So I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to be upset about that. I would love to see a three or four somewhere in this. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to ask for too much here. It's another skip. Okay. We got our first five star on the banner. Please be Tifa's weapon. Go! Yes! Let's go! Oh, I'm very, very happy that I got that before the guaranteed mark because that means that I'm guaranteed to at least be able to overboost it once. Like, oh, I'm so excited about that. That is amazing. All right. Very, very, very happy. That's so nice to get right off the bat. All right. Three stamps. Yes! Okay, all right, this is going swimmingly so far. I, I will say 
the last couple banners that I pulled on did not I, already this is better if even if I got nothing else this is already considerably better than than both the Sephiroth banners that I pulled on wow we got two here oh my gosh could I get another copy of that yes wait wait yeah that was the guaranteed copy okay that was a guaranteed copy so that makes sense okay oh I'm, I'm, I'm getting pretty caught up here all right how are we doing here Ooh, okay this is like I'm I man maybe it's just the hype you know maybe it's one of those laws of attraction kind of things like whatever I'm wanting or my energy is somehow manifesting itself probably not but I like to think of it that way all right nothing here makes sense figure you can't get something good on every one let's keep going Got to at least fill one stamp card and then maybe evaluate a little further. Wow, another two stamp. So I've gotten like two, three two stamps and a three already? That Very, very, very good. This reminds me more of the very first banner in the game with the Mirasame. That was the kind of like luck that I was seeing there. Haven't seen that in a while. All right, nothing here. Okay, getting some parts though. Like those are building up, I think, pretty nicely. All right. Okay, so we're gonna definitely have to do at least one more pull on this. And then I'll probably reevaluate a little bit afterwards to see if I think I could complete a second stamp card later on. Oh, here we go, here we go. And this was not on the guaranteed slot for the outfit. So this is just a good pull. Um, man, it would be really nice to see like a two or three. Three, three five-star weapons. Like, I, I won't complain about luck in this game for the rest of the year. Uh, regardless of how anything goes. I, oh man, I, I like, I thought about this all night last night when I went to bed. It was so hard for me not to do my pulls, but, uh, you know, I, I just, it was like a kid waiting for Christmas morning. Okay, we get one and it's Cloud. Is it going to be Cloud's weapon? That would be pretty nice. That would be really nice. Oh, it's new. Yes, yes. All right. All right. Nice. Very, very happy to have one of each. That, that, mm, man, I'm, I'm really excited about that. All right. And we've got to do at least one more here. Three. Is that, I guess that carries over? Yes, it does. Wow, okay, great. I've never actually been in that position before. All right. And what does he look like? Oh my gosh. Okay. Is this because of the, because I'm getting the garb or is it? I don't know. I don't really know, but I'm, I'm excited either way. Uh, I'm going to watch this, this cutscene one more time because it just, it just makes me feel good. He looks so baller in that outfit. Uh, and I just, man, it, I haven't been this excited to do pulls on a gotcha game in like, I don't even know. I would say a year or two, which is just very, very cool for me. Um, I think sometimes, you know, it's easy to be playing these games and just kind of get on autopilot. You do your summons here, there, whatever. But I'm genuinely excited uh, for these pulls. Okay, is this, is this another Zidane sword? No, it's Mirasame. I'm, I, you know what? I'm actually just as happy with that uh, because that is the only cloud weapon that I was trying to get on this banner. So um, I am extremely happy to get the Mirasame here. Very, I think that's very, very good. All right, let's take a look at where we are here. Um, if we look at details, I can do five more pulls, five more pulls. Man, I, I wonder if that's worth it. Hard to say. Um, man, to get the outfit. Plus, there's going to be a lot of free... You know what? I'm going to keep going. Because I think 
there's going to be quite a bit of free crystals coming in. I think I will get enough by the end of this event to finish off this second stamp card. I know there's there's potentially going to be other banners, but Cloud and Tifa are kind of two of my big... They're big people for my parties, right? I, I would say, especially Tifa uh, and Aerith, but oh my gosh. What is the three in a row? Three in a row on this? I've never I've never gotten this three times in a row. So I I think that's maybe partly also influencing me here is like my luck has been considerably better than normal. I mean, even though I'm only getting one five-star weapon on mo most of these uh pulls, just the fact that I'm even hitting one with this many of my pulls is a big deal for me because it doesn't hardly ever happen that way. Um, in the past, I mean, I would go like four pulls in a row without a single five star. Oh, if it's another Tifa weapon, please be the one that I want. I would take leather gloves actually too. I would be okay with that. But it's the event weapon, which I'm just as cool with. That is, mm, that is still very good. Very good. Very happy with that. Um, I was just hoping it wasn't going to be something other than that or leather gloves. So these are, wow. Oh my, there is no way that they haven't adjusted the rates on these. There's no way. Because I, I, I've gotten so many stamps, so many five-star weapons that just never happens on any of my pulls. So this, I'm, I'm a ha man, I'm such a happy guy right now. All right, and that should be... Oh my gosh, is it... Okay, it's new, the leather gloves, leather gloves. Wow, wow. This is, okay, I'm getting, and literally like my account is just getting every single thing that I want. I, I don't, there's, like what else can I say at this point? I'm hitting like, the luck of the gods has has shined down upon me. Um, I've I've suddenly got I got my Mirasame for another copy of that. I've got leather gloves. I got two copies of Tifa's weapon. I've got a copy of Cloud's weapon. Like I and look, what is this? Like more? I'm getting more. I I like I wouldn't have expected. Oh my gosh! Is another Mirasame? Wah, wah. Like, the best luck I've literally ever had in this game. Like, this is better than when the game first came out as far as luck goes. Like, I, I'm i almost speechless. And, and because I've gotten so many stamps, I'm going to have just enough crystals to fill up two stamp cards. Um... Oh my god, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? What did I get on Aerith? Oh my god. I needed this. I actually needed this. This was a weapon that I had really considered putting on my wish list because of the fact that it allows my healer to also do debuffs. And I don't have that. What did I get for Tifa here? Leather gloves. Wow. So now I can actually even overboost the leather gloves. Okay. Last draw. This will put me right at uh, getting the cloud garb. I. Man. What what a summoning session here. What, like. I I'm beside myself. I'm like. Way to go, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis. <laughs> like. Can't complain for the rest of the year about how pulls go. I really wonder if somehow they, like, have adjusted the rates. Because this is insane. Set. It looked like edged wings there. Got the cloud outfit. This looks like edged wings. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Okay. Um, well... That that is my pull. I, I I oh man, I got um. Let's see. I'm just gonna really quickly try to recap this. Twelve, 
Okay, so we didn't do 24 pulls because we got insanely lucky with stamps. I, I don't even know. I think I got at least two threes and like four twos. Maybe five twos? I, I lost track, but it was a lot. So, well, we, I can tell you this. I had 36,000 and change, so uh, 12 pulls. I did 12 pulls and filled two stamp cards, which is insane. That's insane. That's an average of two stamps per pull. Um, and in 12 pulls, I don't even... I'm, I'm trying to think. I've got, like, maybe three copies of Tifa's weapon? No, I got two leather gloves. I think I got two of her event weapon. We're going to find out real fast. Okay, so we have clouds here. And... Okay, can't overboost that. So one of Cloud's weapon. Um, yeah. Three of Tifa's. So that's four right there. I definitely got the, the uh, umbrella for Aerith. That's five. I got two leather gloves. That's six and seven. I got edged wings. That's eight. And two Mirasames. Ten. I think I might have even gotten something else. I can't quite remember, but I can confirm that I at least got 10 five-star weapons in 12 pulls. That's insane. And I hope that all of you have the same luck as I did or better if you decide to pull on this banner. I really think, just a theory, I have no way to confirm this, but I think that it felt like in the very beginning, when the game first came out, when we were pulling on the Mirasame banner, it felt like the odds of getting a five-star weapon were way higher than any banner that occurred after that. Because I remember pulling on, you know, the Halloween banner, the first Sephiroth banner, and it was just terrible. Like, I was getting, I would do a whole stamp card and get, like, maybe two five-star weapons. Maybe. And they wouldn't be, you know, what I needed. I would get one to two five-star weapons on like eight pulls, 10 pull or nine pulls. And it was definitely not that way for the first pulls on the Mirasame one. So I, and I had always thought maybe they like upped it in the beginning to get people into the game more, you know, be a little bit friendly when the game was first starting, you know, help the hype. Maybe. Now this could be, this is totally anecdotal because I don't know what anybody else did. I just know how my luck went and I know how my luck has been but my, my theory is, what if what if they increased it again? I mean, obviously, they're not advertising that they increased it. But what if they did because of the crossover event to kind of rehype people, you know, uh, just because they seem like they're bringing their A game. They're going big on this crossover. I don't know. Uh, let me know if you decide to pull. Let me know how it went for you. I want to know, you know, how many stamps were you averaging or how many pulls did it take to clear one or two cards? How many five star weapons did you get? How many of the event weapons? I'm very interested to hear about this because I hope that everybody else has this kind of luck. Yeah, subscribe for more content. I'll be uh, getting into the event later on uh, today or maybe tomorrow, and I'll try to post some guides if, if that's a necessary thing. Thanks for watching.